this video, we'll go over Wicked Tough Shield Graphic Installation on plastic parts. Uh, let's start out with the tools that we're going to need to uh, install the uh, graphic once it arrives. I've got my prepping solution, isopropyl alcohol. I've got a clean razor blade that's very sharp. I've got a heat gun. And I've got a lint-free cloth. Here's what the graphic looks like for this particular model that we're going to be installing. It's a 20 mil subsurface printed, uh, very thick uh, vinyl. Um, it's designed to protect your plastics, also uh, make them look brand new once installed. It goes over original scratches and scrapes and, and marks and grooves uh, on your plastics very well and hides them. Um, it's very thick. As you can see, I can hold it. I mean, it's, it's a very thick product. Uh, we really think that you'll like it very much. Let's get the uh, plastic part that we're going to be using involved here. Looks like we have a Yamaha YZ plastic part. I'll try and center it the best that I can here for you. As you can see, it's got plenty of uh, scrapes and scratches that are otherwise hard to remove. You can see it's got a lot of wear. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by prepping the plastic part with our isopropyl alcohol and our clean rag. If you have any uh, armor all or oily substances that you used on this plastic part originally, you want, really want to get it prepped well. Otherwise, this graphic will not uh, stay on very well. I want to preface this with a few things first. Uh, first of all, when you get started with this graphic, you want to eye it up first, see how it's going to lay out. You can see how this tab folds over. You can see how there's going to be a compound curve here, so you may need some heat because it's already wrinkling by just trying to, to push it down like this. Heat makes this vinyl very pliable and extremely, extremely pliable and easy to, to uh, apply although it's usually not needed unless you get into that compound curve type of area. Uh, start out by finding a nice parallel line like this and this. Looks like the best place to start would be over here and work our way towards the more difficult area which would be over in this area here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel back the release liner. I'm not going to peel it back 100%. I'm going to peel it back about maybe 25% and pull it to the side so I can work with it. I'm going to lay down this front portion here. See, I already got it stuck a little bit there. I'm going to have to pull it back. Very tacky. Very, very tacky. This Our Wicked Tough line of adhesives are very, very aggressive. So I like it where it is there. I'm going to make sure this line's up here. And I'm going to lay it down and get my starting point here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the release liner back a little bit more and use my thumb to just go right along. Now you can use a, a rag, if I can find mine. This will reduce the friction between your thumb and the vinyl. So you can go back and forth with this rag like so. I like this method, but I'm going to use my thumb in this case so that you can see more of the application on the actual video. I'm just going to keep going, take my time keep tension in this area. Again, all installations are going to be different. You have to plan accordingly. You know, use your best judgment as far as, you know, what should go on first, what should go on last. If you do have to pull the graphic back up, you can't pull it up at room temperature. You've got to heat the back part here. So if I'm pulling up like this and I need to come back and restart because I got an air bubble, you've got to heat this graphic up. And be very careful because when you do pull it, it will stretch a little bit. Give it time to cool and contract before you start to go back down. So I'm going to keep going. Got to get some more of my release liner back here. I'm going to start to pull the release liner up in the opposite direction. As you can see, it's a pretty smooth application. As I come up around this compound curve, it's all, the vinyl's already starting to uh, set in on it very well. No problems. However, I am going to get the heat gun out just a little bit to make my life a little bit easier. I'm going to heat this compound curve area just a little bit. That should work well. Let's see if I can get this centered for you guys here. And I'm just going to use my thumb and continue working my way towards the outer edge of the graphic as I have been. Fold this uh, lip back the best that we can. 
Now if you do get an air bubble and you don't feel like pulling the graphic back, you can pop it with a very sharp pin. Uh, it, it will come out, but you want to do it as soon as possible. <coughs> this is the uh, end of the installation. You can take your lint-free cloth and go back over the installation, clean it up a little, and as you can see, I'll try and center this the best that I can. It really does make for a new looking side cover. This concludes the installation of the Wicked Tough Shields.